everyone. I thought today I would just take you along sort of a day in my life. This was gonna be creating my ideal spring morning routine, but I already started off on a bit of a bad foot. I was gonna get up at like seven this morning and I didn't wake up until just before eight and then I was too tired to get out of bed. So this wasn't really my ideal morning routine. So I thought I would just take you along my day I don't know if it's gonna be interesting, but it will be probably pretty realistic. So I'm starting the day off with coffee, obviously. It is not a morning for me without a cup of coffee. Another thing that I'm gonna do, I don't do this all the time, but I started in February because a friend of mine inspired me to do this, is recording your dreams. I have very vivid dreams and I always, like a lot of people I think, wake up and think, okay, I'm gonna remember this one and then like an hour later you forget everything so I have a note in my phone one was from February 24th Kylie Jenner was missing a bunch of teeth but she looked really good she pulled off the look okay some of them are much more in depth but none of these I would have possibly remembered if I hadn't written them down so it's kind of a fun thing to look back on but I just remembered my dream from last night and so I need to write it down because in my dream I was getting a tattoo and I think I just dreamt up like my dream tattoo so I definitely don't want to forget that in case it actually ends up being a good idea and I do want to get it one day. I've been noticing recently I've just been so out of routine and that is not something that I personally cope very well with. And so that's one big goal of mine coming up is to just like solidify a good routine for the spring and summer that hopefully I can stick to. Cause I was doing a really, really good job in the fall and winter. And then within the past like month or two, just because of so many different things, I've fallen off of my routine so much. And so I've got to get back on track. <laughs> and one thing that I'm trying to really prioritize is morning and evening skincare routine, because this is something that I'm pretty lax about. Most days I don't really wear makeup. And so I often will neglect either morning or night. Sometimes I don't do my skincare at all, which feels okay in the moment, but then it definitely catches up with me and I just feel so much better. My skin feels so much better if I can keep on top of it. So I'm gonna do that now. Versed Skincare actually sent me a whole bunch of stuff, which was very unexpected and nice. Um, this isn't sponsored, obviously. I'm a tiny channel and I don't know how they found me if it was through YouTube or TikTok, but I've been using their products for a few weeks now and I actually really like them. My skin, feels really good. I wouldn't say I have super sensitive skin, but it's not uncommon for my skin to have like an adverse reaction, even if it's like minimal to a new product. And I haven't had any sort of reaction to these. They feel super hydrating and light, which I like. So the first thing I'm gonna use is the Wash It Out Gel Cleanser. This is with rose water and seaweed extract. This smells so good. If you don't like fragrance, obviously keep that in mind. It has almost like a minty scent to it, but it's not like overpowering but it does feel really cooling on the skin and because of the gel texture, it just feels really light. I will say it doesn't feel like it kind of removes as much as other cleansers do. So at nighttime, after I've been wearing like sunscreen or makeup, I'll use the CeraVe uh, SA cleanser because I feel like that just removes a lot more, but this is really nice for just a morning, like light cleanse. Next, I'm using the Weekend Glow Brightening Solution. Uh, this is a four acid complex and bearberry extract toner. I think this is actually one of my favorite products that they sent. I'm someone that goes on and off with toners, but I do notice a big difference when I use them. It doesn't feel like it just disappears right after you put it on your face. Like it doesn't feel just like water, which I find some toners do. And this is all coming from an absolutely not skincare expert. So this is just what I think about how they feel, not at all like coming from any knowledge base. But next, I'm using the Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. And all of these products you're able to use morning and night, except for the SPF, obviously you don't wanna use that at nighttime. So I found them to be really nice way to start the day. And then I use kind of less light products at nighttime. Then I'm using the Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. 
This has green tea extract and aloe leaf juice. This is very gel-like. I don't know if you can tell. So I find it nice in combination with all of these products. I will say though, I don't think it would be enough for my skin personally. At least at this time of year, maybe in the heat of the summertime, it would be nice because it's kind of light and cooling. But if you have dry skin, this might not be amazing. But I find in combination with other products on your face, if you're not just putting on moisturizer, it's very moisturizing and hydrating. And then finally, they sent me the Guards Up Daily Mineral Sunscreen. This is tinted, so that is something to keep in mind. I will say with mineral sunscreens, I'm obviously pretty fair skinned, so white cast is sometimes a problem for me, but it kind of usually just fades. I have to put a lot of mineral sunscreen on for it to look kind of not right with my skin tone, but this sunscreen is tinted, so I don't see a white cast on my skin tone at all. And I almost forgot, Verst gave me a discount code. If any of you want to use it, it's Bella Villianti 10 I'll put it in the description down below. I'm not earning anything from that code, but if you want 10% off, then you can use it on your Versed skincare order. The next thing that is always absolutely crucial and makes me feel so put together is brushing my eyebrows up. I cannot stand when they are just hanging out all floppy with no shape at all. Another aspect of my routine that I've been completely neglecting in the past month or two has been working out. I was getting on such a good roll with it from about October until February and then March and April have just been meh. I haven't really worked out at all. So I worked out for the first time in a while yesterday and I did 20 minutes of cardio, felt like I was dying so it's going to take a while to rebuild it back up but whenever this happens and I'm just trying to get back into the habit I just have to do it blindly so the second I think about working out or going for a walk or something like that I just need to do it so I'm gonna go for a walk right now I have to be somewhere for noon so I have about an hour and a half which isn't too bad because the loop I usually do takes like a half hour but I am gonna see if I can run a little bit of it because I was getting really really good with my endurance and then just kind of fell off so I kind of want to gauge where that's at right now I know it's been a while because I have this top in my closet that I forgot that I bought. It's so cute. It has a cutout in the back. I'm not sure where this is from because I thrifted it, but it's so soft and so comfortable. So I'm excited to finally take it out. That was exactly what I needed to start my day off with. I have just enough time until I have to go out to eat some breakfast and start a podcast that I can finish in the car. One of my favorite creators on YouTube is Caroline Winkler. Caroline? Carolyn? Caroline. And she has a podcast with a friend of hers called Not For Everyone and I am absolutely loving it. Okay, I'm officially almost running late, so I'm gonna hop in the car and go to the fabric store. I'm helping a friend pick out draperies, so let's head there. Okay, I am back home now, and that was a huge success. Look at this fabric. This is what we ended up going with for the drapery. It's like a sort of jungle print, and then it has monkeys on it which is so fun. This is for a few large windows in a room with a grand piano in it. I think it's gonna look so amazing. And I'm really happy with how that went because this is sort of a like test interior design client, I guess, which is really fun. I'm gonna go back out in about an hour to go look at some houses with my mom and sister. And so in the meantime, I think I'm gonna get started on creating a mood board for this space. I'm really excited. This is like my favorite thing to do, is just make mood boards, I love it. So I'm going to sit down for a while, watch some Netflix and make a mood board and basically just kill the awkward amount of time I have in between going out again. Mm -hmm. 